Good morning, everyone. We reached the 15th of the month, way through September 2023. Well, we're ready for the fourth chapter of Luke, and there's a beautiful verse in this chapter taken out of Isaiah. Christ the Lord is actually speaking it in the 18th verse the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind and to set liberty them that are bruised Well, it shows the compassion of Jesus Christ. Appointed to heal the brokenhearted. There's another scripture that says that he came to call the sinners to repentance. He did not come to call the righteous, the sinners to repentance. That gives me great hope. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost and returned from Jordan, was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in the days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, he afterward he, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of him, of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. If thou therefore wilt worship me, all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple. And he said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down from hence. For as written, he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee. And in, the, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. And Jesus answering said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended the, all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. And Jesus returned to the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and there went out a fame of him through the region round about, and he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet of the book of the prophet Isaiah and when he had opened the book he found the place where it was written the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath appointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind and set liberty to them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and he closed the book and gave it again to the minister and sat down in all eyes all the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him and he began to say this day is a scripture fulfilled in your ears and all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth and they said is not this joseph's son and he said unto them ye will surely say unto me this proverb position heal thyself whatsoever we have heard done in capernaum do also here in the in thy country and he said, Verily I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I left you of a truth, I tell you of a truth. Many w widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land. But unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Sarepta, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elias, Elias the prophet, 
and none of them was cleansed save saving name of the Syrian and all that and all they in the synagogue when they heard these sayings were filled with wrath and rose up and thrust him out of the city and led him into the brow of the hill where their on their city was built that they might cast him down headlong but he passing through the midst of them went his way and he came down to Capernaum a city of Galilee and taught them on the Sabbath days and they were astonished at his doctrine for his word was with power and in a synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil and cried out with a loud voice saying let us alone what have we to do with thee thou Jesus of Nazareth art thou come to destroy us I know thee who thou art the Holy One of God and Jesus rebuked him saying hold thy peace and come out of him and when the devil had thrown him in the midst he came out of him and heard him not and they were all amazed and spake among themselves saying what a word is this for with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits, and they come out. And the fame of him went out into every place of the country round about. And he rose out of the synagogue and entered into Simon's house. And Simon's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood up over her and rebuked the fever, and it, and it left her, and immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Now when the sun was setting, all they that had any sick with divers diseases brought them unto him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. And devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, Thou art Christ, the Son of God. And he, rebuking them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ. And when it was day, he departed, went into a desert place, and the people sought him, came unto him, and stayed with him, that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, therefore am I sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. Well, Christ was certainly not politically correct, was he? He certainly showed that his love was particular for whom he came for. Especially when he talked about how that only certain people were shown his grace. Not all. And... You know, he said he came to deliver the captives, to heal the brokenhearted, and to set at liberty them that are bruised. And he also said that a prophet is not honor in his own country. And he said no prophet's accepted in his own country. And he also said that um, many lepers were in Israel. None of them were cleansed except Naaman the Syrian. And that really set him off when he started preaching particular redemption. You know. It says when all they heard this in the synagogue, they, they were filled with wrath. And that's what happens a lot of times when you're preaching that Christ came to save his people from their sins. People get filled with wrath and try to say it's a universal salvation. But it's not universal. It's for whom Christ died. And notice what their response was. They thrust him out of the city and let him up a brow of a hill that they might cast him down but we know his time was not yet and uh, we see that he cast out devils we see that he preached the kingdom of God to many cities 
and he preached in the synagogues of Galilee the gospel of God and never let us forget that his main purpose for coming was that he was anointed to preach the gospel to the poor he was sent to heal the brokenhearted he was sent to preach deliverance to the captives and recover sight to the blind and set at liberty them that are bruised aren't you glad that God is compassionate and ministers to those that are in need of a savior some people think they don't need a savior you know and you know they asked Donald Trump about you know if he had ever you know repented or whatever and he said I just try to do better Trump it doesn't matter how much you do you can't do enough works to please God only God's work, only Christ's works please God. Men's works don't please God. We are all in need of a Savior. That's why he died on the cruel and rugged cross of Calvary. To save his people from their sins. Well, may the good Lord be with you today in a special way. I'm going to sneeze here, I think. Excuse me a second. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you all have a blessed day today. God bless.